What is going on everyone, Al Kula here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm actually pretty excited. We're gonna do an unboxing, cause really, like who doesn't love unboxings? Of what possibly might just be the most expensive pair of gloves in the world. <sighs> now I'm not sure if they're the most expensive pair of gloves in the world, but in my book, they're damn near close. All right, so what I ordered is a pair of gloves and a pair of liners from the Heat Company. Okay, so I'm gonna make this kind of a pretty quick video, but I just figured I'd do an unboxing. There wasn't a whole lot of videos on YouTube where I was looking these up. So yeah, we're gonna unbox these, do a quick like impression, what do I think of them, whatever, right outside the box, and then we're gonna get out there in the real world and find out, like, do they actually keep my fingers warm? I need something to like open these with. Seriously? Let's try this again. Okay, that's a little bit more like it. These are what I believe to be the liners. And I don't even think I need a box for this. These come with mittens that zip, and then there's liners you can buy. Because I hate the cold. Actually, it's not that I hate the cold, but my fingers hate the cold. Yeah, I don't even wanna look at this receipt. Ooh. I picked up the thickest liners that you can buy, and there are the merino wool ones. I mean, they feel good. Again, these are just the liners. So, yeah, these are, I mean, they're thick for liners, but they feel really good. So they have the little tabs here, so you can use a, an iPhone or you know any touch device with them. Another thing I like, this part right here that goes around my wrist, it's like nice and tight if you can see that or hear that. Like I said, these are the merino wool ones. I went a little crazy because I was out in the woods and I was just like so aggravated that my fingers were getting cold. I was out there the other morning for like three hours. Like it was just the worst. This rubbery stuff on the inside of the palm. And they also have a little Velcro thing right here. So you can put um, a heat pad right in here which is sweet. Okay, so initial impression is they fit well, so I got the right size, but the material feels really good. Like I said, these are the Polar Tech Power Wool. They're basically the thickest liners that you can get that the company sells. All right, so that is the liners. All right, so let's open these up. Yeah, I don't wanna look at, okay. So here are the shells. Let's check these bad boys out. Yeah, seriously, they come with leather balm. They better for the amount of money I paid for them. It comes with some leather balm to like, to put on to, oh look, they come with heaters too. So these are the gloves. All right, so these got a little liner as well. My first impression, <laughs> these are huge. Oh my God. I gotta just try it on. It's nice, it's big, it's furry inside. It feels, I don't know, feels like a mitten. So it comes with this little thing you can put around your wrist so that you don't actually lose the gloves. When I saw this online, I was like, that's pretty stupid. I don't think I'm even gonna use it, but actually that's not true. Because when you're doing wildlife, you can like just quickly rip this off and like instantly have access to your camera and not have to worry about these. They seem built really well. I guess there's like some kind of goat skin or something. Put my hand in here and there's a zipper right here. Zip that. Now these have a magnet. There's a magnet on the back here. There's a magnet here. It folds down and it connects. The magnets, all right, I have another pair upstairs. This is my basement. And like, those magnets are so weak. But anyways, I'll get those in a second to compare them to these. This is nice. Your like whole, all of your fingers are out instead of like half of your fingers, which is immediately something I like better than the other pair I got. And then there's a zipper on this back side, And this is where I was saying, you can put another heat pad right in here. One heat pad could go in here. One heat pad could go in here. You should be staying warm for a while. Oh, and the thumb, this has Velcro, uh, this has, um, you know, the Velcro. Uh, there's magnets on the thumb part too, so it sticks back. Another thing that I like about these, there's two places to tighten these up on your hand. So one is right here. You can just like, I guess, pull on this 
and it tightens it up right here on your wrist. And then there's one right here where you can just kind of pull that and it tightens it up over your jacket or whatever. So, I mean, I can still, I can hold my camera. This is with the mitten. This is nice. I can hold it by this, by the collar. Let's put this back. So this goes back, that's already back. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. What I really like is that the cut is down here on your hands. So you're all, you're, you know, your whole fingers are out of the glove, which gives you nice, you know, nice access to the camera and stuff. So my hands are always getting cold holding the camera and the lens. And I just got, I got so frustrated the other morning. I, I was like, I'm going home. I'm finding the best pair of gloves I can, I can buy. I don't care how much money they are. So these are what I came across and they're a lot of money, like ridiculous amounts of money for a glove. But anyways, enough talking down here. <sighs> let's go out and let's see how these things really, really do in the real world. It's about 10.30 a.m. and I've been out for about three, three hours or so. I pretty much came out like right during sunset. I mean, right during sunrise. All right, so when I came out here at like 7.30 in the morning, it was about, I think it was 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It was 22, but it felt like it was 15. And so when I got out, um, I was walking and, you know, I had these flaps over my hands. And basically I'm just holding the camera either like this, or I'm holding it like this, or, you know, um, or sometimes when I want my hands to warm up, I hold it like a little baby. I hold it like this, because I'm a little baby. So yeah, when I first got out, around 22 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like 15 or felt like 14, something like that. My fingers were getting a little bit cold. Initially, I was a little bit upset. I'm like, okay, I expect my hands to like be completely warm. But you do have to remember that these bodies, the lens, especially the collar, the foot, when you're holding it like this, like your fingers get cold. It's just the way it's gonna be. There's no doubt in my mind that if I put warmers right here, my fingers would be fine, probably in any temperatures. I would say easily down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. With hand warmers in there, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with these gloves. Right now, it's about 10.30 a.m. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like it's 24, some, somewhere around there. Right now my hands, it feels like they're in an oven and it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But you're not buying these gloves to wear them in 30 degree Fahrenheit weather. <laughs> Maybe you are, I don't know. That's up to you. So yeah, there's no doubt about it. Like right now, I can hold the collar just with my linings and my hands, my fingers aren't getting cold. And that's what I've been doing for the past like hour and a half. I've just been holding the camera with these folded back and everything is fine. I would say anything 25 degrees and up, you're fine with these. Once you start getting below 25 and you're in like the 20 degree range, they're good. Look, they're much better than what I had. Oh, another thing that's really awesome about these is with these unfolded, you can easily just take your fingers right out. And then you can put your fingers right back in. So you don't even have to use a second hand. And that's what I really, really like about these. So yeah, being able to get your hands or your fingers in and out easily is, um, yeah, that's a lot to ask for actually, because that doesn't happen all the time. So the ultimate question is, am I keeping them? Yes, I'm keeping them. I'm not gonna return them. Uh, for sure, I'm gonna keep them because they're a huge improvement from my other gloves, right? And basically, while I was out, I didn't want to have to go back into the car and warm up my hands, which is the whole point. Are they worth the money? Eh, that's a whole different question. I don't know. That's debatable. It's subjective, whatever, whatever. If you have to work a whole week just to make enough money to buy these, I would say no, don't buy them because you're just not out here enough <laughs> to use them. This is my full-time job. This is what I do. I'm a photographer. So I have to be out here. I have to be warm. I have to get photos. So I don't know. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. This channel is all about landscape, nature, and wildlife photography. With that being said, Today is New Year's, so if you're still watching, it's 2021. Happy New Year. Wish you all the best, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks. Bye.